Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to have a look at some remarks by senior counsel, Amen Nasir Abdullahi. For the remarks are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. Before we do that, in case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Yesterday night, Senior Counsel Abme Nasir Abdullahi had this to say. Abme Nasir Abdullahi, Senior Counsel, you are both naive and stupid if you think the owner of the Cherera Four Commissioners has not made a similar move on the seven judges of the Supreme Court as he did with the seven IEBC commissioners. The sponsor of Honorable Raila is disparate, and with the Supreme Court, he will take no chance. That senior counsel tweet some few hours ago. I want us to dig deep into the tweet to see what the tweet means politically and what it portends for William Ruto and Raila Molo Odinga. Yes. The first thing I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, Senior Counsel Aminasir Abdullahi is just falling short of telling William Samoy Ruto that he cannot win the Supreme Court battle. Senior Counsel is telling William Ruto he is going to lose the Supreme Court battle. That's what I'm seeing, or rather making from that tweet. And that is so because Senior Counsel believes that IEBC will not be able to demonstrate to the Supreme Court judges that they did, or rather they conducted, a presidential election as per the law, now that the commission is divided. A majority are disputing Chebukati's declaration, a majority of the commissioners. So senior counsel is not just seeing any chance of William Ruto having a win at the Supreme Court of Kenya. And secondly, I'm seeing a senior counsel who is just admitting that William Ruto's legal team is not up to the task, not up to the challenge at the Supreme Court of Kenya. And I'm saying that because largely, if you look at William Ruto's defense and IBC's defense, they are quite underwhelming. They are not addressing the real issues Raila raised in his petition. Most of William Ruto's response and Wafula Chebukati's response, they are dwelling more on just stories. Some people wanted to bribe us. Some people were intimidating us. But they are not addressing the real issues raised by Raila Odinga in his petition. In fact, the issue of when the commissioners the split within the commission itself, that's an issue William Ruto and even IBC, they are not addressing that issue. Because the four commissioners made it very clear that Wafula Chebukati locked them out from verifying the last batch of the presidential election results. Chebukati, or rather IBC, in their response, are not addressing that. And also a very interesting issue is the issue of Form 34As being sent as on, on a JPEG image. They were sent as JPEG image. What we are seeing in the IBC portal is a PDF image. 
And you know the, the mere fact that the image has transformed from a, a JPEG to PDF, that confirms that that's not the original from 34 A's. So somebody might have done some kind of editing and even conversion of the forms. That shows they're not the original from 34 A's. IBC is not explaining at what stage the conversion took place. If you go through the response, they are not addressing that. And also, likely, if you look on how Chebukati conducted the presidential elections, even before the elections, it was clear William Ruto and Wafula Chebukati were reading from the same page. They were reading from the same page. And initially, the, the way Tebukati was behaving, he was behaving as if he was creating some loopholes under which this year's presidential elections could be annulled right from the printing of the ballot papers. It's believed the printing started even before the names of candidates were gazetted. And that was seen as a loophole IEBC was creating to enable the Supreme Court annul the election to pave way for a runoff. And also during the presidential tally, it's clear the four commissioners who are a majority were not part of the tally towards the tail end. And if you look at a ruling, and this is something I've always stated here, in 2017, in Maina Kiai versus Khalifa case in the Court of Appeal, the court made a ruling that IBC as a commission is not about the chair. It's largely the seven commissioners. The chair cannot make a unilateral decision without consulting their commissioners. In the, in the event, they can't have a unanimous decision. A decision has to be made by voting, in which the majority becomes the position of the commission. It's clear a good majority of the commissioners are in disagreement and disputing Wafula Chebukati's declaration of William Ruto. And basing my argument on that 2017 Court of Appeals ruling, it's clear the four commissioners are the ones representing IEBC as a commission. And that is so because they are the majority. Yes. So back to that tweet. That tweet is just confirming, ladies and gentlemen, that most likely William Ruto will not get a win at the Supreme Court of Kenya. And that tweet, in my honest opinion, is not a reverse psychology. Because I've been seeing some of, of our fans here saying that Amin Nasir Abdullahi might be playing some kind of reverse psychology. That's not a reverse psychology. Senior counsel is stating facts as they are. And it's also true that any competent court of law cannot uphold William Ruto's win, or rather election, simply because the commission, the same commission that carried out the elections, are disputing the same same elections. On that basis alone, I'm not seeing the Supreme Court upholding William Ruto's election. Let me stop it there. But before I stop, in case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to any other person, that's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't beat about the bush. We go straight on to the point. We call it as it is without fear or favor. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you're giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. To any other person, I've pinned my number on the comment section, the first comment in the comment section. In case you want to have a chat with me or to support the channel, 
you can send your donation or support the channel through that number. And above all, as I conclude, any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, again, subscribe, go give this video a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.